80s. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, no. Oh, no. We're good. No, we're not. My bad. Farmer. Oh, it sucks. All right, jump Farmer. out. We gotta get out. Yep. We're in a bad spot. You're okay. Don't pull on your head. Don't okay. pull on your head. Barber. I'm really cool to be here at iRacing and get this opportunity to kind of relearn the hill. Me flying in, heading up to Mount Washington, uh, this was absolutely perfect. Okay, across the finish line, right? Yep. yep. All right, where's my run? 544.7, what's the, what's the record? 544.7. All right, just tied the record, guys. <laughs> Oh, I did put it off into the top corner, but it was totally worth it. I mean, if you guys were on Mars, I would still have found a way to get out there to get this uh, kind of pre-run uh, Mount Washington because, as it turns out, you can go up at five miles an hour all day long and you really have no idea where the bumps are, where the corners are, kind of your breaking points and, and kind of how it's going to flow. So, all was going well, almost to the top, a little wide, and then... <laughs> Try to avoid that two weeks in a row. It's not what you want. <laughs> Literally, one run up on the iRacing sim is better than 20 runs up, uh, which would take you, you know, a week of time to do uh, in person. So definitely cool to be here. Well, that's gonna work. It'll work. Nope. Nope. <laughs> just like real life. I got this. <laughs> With Mount Washington, there's not a lot that you can just read the road. You're gonna do that for a couple corners, but I don't memorize the whole course. I just remember that the corners I have to slow down for. So when your car gets faster, all of a sudden more corners pop up that actually matter. So for me, it'll be like, okay, this is a lift, this is a brake, but this year with the Air Slayer, I'm gonna get up there and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot that I just didn't really think about. So that's what I'm really working on now with the sim is to go, okay, I didn't really think about these as corners, but I bet that one's gonna be a corner, I bet this one's gonna be a corner. Let me remember this course as opposed to like, there's three long lefts. The first one is a double apex that's pretty open. The second one is tight single apex. And the third one has a double apex that's shorter. As far as corners that look identical, that are all very, very different. Well, now there's two or three corners in between those that are gonna matter because the Air Slayer, it's faster. It's got more downforce. You know, if you hit your lines right, uh, you're gonna be able to really utilize that downforce. So for me today, it's not just about relearning the road. It's about relearning the road and thinking ahead to a faster car. The Clyde of the Clouds race has been around since 1903. Every year it's evolved a little bit and every year it's gotten a little scarier. It's all out, man. I scared myself a couple times today. This is what we live for, man. And it's gonna be one hell of a battle. At the end of the day, people say, what did you learn from last round? And I said, probably not much. I want to set down a time that shows how great this car is for years to come, and a time that's going to be hard to beat. Day one, what an amazing day. I mean, hardly a cloud in the sky. Great weather, great time to hit the top. A lot of times you don't get a chance to run the full top of the mountain before the race day, so definitely good to get that out of the way. This car is absolutely amazing. Even going back to that first time we came with uh, Red Bull and Subaru and was able to kind of get that unofficial record, that was something that reached well outside of motorsports and even my fan base to be like, wow, I've been up Mount Washington and shoot, I, my top two is 25, their top two is 125. Like, I want to make sure that this time we go up and we put a record that's worth beating. I'd say we're back to racing now, baby. Travis Estrada, ladies and gentlemen. It's so awesome to be there, Matt Watson. Uh, got, got the win. 
528.6, took it by over 15 seconds. This car is amazing. Subaru, Yokohama, it's just, this whole package came together. I didn't think it was gonna be possible, definitely not easy to, to beat the record, and uh, this car absolutely demolished it. So uh, yeah, let's, let's bring it on. Whoever wants to come out, let's, uh, let's make it happen in two years, three years, whenever they have this again. Ojibwe's been a great route like in the past. We're six wins here, but usually this is bottom of the ninth, buckle down time for the championship. We're in a really interesting spot, but everybody loves rally. This is where we all want to be. This is the most fun sport in the world. Rally time, and it's pouring rain. This is the way we like it. This is the first time I've ever driven here where it's been this wet. It usually has great conditions, very forgiving. As narrow as these roads are though, and without the sand base, where it's just mud now, and they haven't got a lot of rain beforehand, so it's going to be even thicker mud, it's going to be absolutely diabolical up there. So, uh, gloves off, everything's out. We're going to have a knockdown drag out like 2006, baby. Let's do this. The schedule's just been absolutely uh, wild. We come straight off Mount Washington Hill Climb, set the record up there. That was awesome. Wild turn events here at Ojibwe. Besides the weather being absolutely treacherous, first time it's really rained this hard here. It's raining, it's wet. We're here to do our job. We're very fortunate to be able to come rally and definitely have, have an awesome deal here with, with Subaru and to be able to do this you know, as a, as a job is, is awesome. So that puts us in a very interesting points battle with Ken missing another round because of moving and stuff. And then us you know, really having a pretty good points lead already coming into this. This week's gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. It's Ken Block versus me. And I tell you what, the crowd, they're coming out, even in the rain. It's gonna be one hell of a good day. It's a US championship, but I mean, look at all this, this Irish. We got the Irish flag here. We got, well, we got one American here. We got the Irish flag still running on top. We got over here, we got one American, but back Irish. We got over here, we got, we got two people from the- English the, Irish, come on. <laughs> England. Uh, we got another Irish. Okay, over here we got some American. We finally got the first American hood scoop. But you still, I mean, we got one of those Gelsominos running from Italy. And then up here, we got an Australian. There's more non-Americans in the top 10 cars than, uh, than there are Americans. in the middle of the road the size of a, you know, bigger than the front bumper when you came to? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, all right, we now know who, we now know who pulled it out. How, how'd you guys get over it? Because we, we jumped it. Yeah, yeah, we hit it low and then it turned the car into a Christmas tree. <laughs> Most anyone ever had a lead in the last rally was 11 seconds. This rally after stage one, we had a 20 second lead, so definitely feeling good. Um, yeah, they said, what do you learn about in last rally? And obviously nothing. Still flat out. So we got two super special stages to go. I don't know how much they took out of us there. We backed it down a little bit, but uh, we had about uh, about 50 seconds going into it, so feel pretty good. Let's see what Ken got on at stage time, but that lady ain't sung yet, man. We... <laughs> I saw some wild marks. I didn't know if it was you or somewhere else. No, we, we were right on. The, we are on the line this time. I don't know what. How uh, was your run? I don't know. It was fun. Yeah, I had a great time. Man. Yeah, I think it was fun. fun. <laughs> Okay weekend, but good learning experience here. Back to the six rock climbs at Chris. 50. Up on right for a K. 20. Right left for minus. Chris right four. 50. Back to the six Chris and half right five in. 50.
tell you what, the racing is back. I am excited and uh, champions 2021. Yeah! I don't know if you guys have heard of Mad Huey's F1 had claimed this, but this was a Nitro Circus thing long before old Ricardo got this going. So that is that's that's probably not okay. My co-driver doesn't drink, but she said she was going to do a shoey if we wrapped up the championship this weekend. Does anyone have a non-alcoholic beverage to pour in one of her shoes? Hey, I'll tell you, good luck to him right there behind the camera. I'm going to go ahead and take this away from you. You're missing a rally again. I know. You know. Never again. I make winning happen, everybody. Yes, you do. You are not missing anything. When I don't show up, bad things happen. You make winning happen. Right. You are not missing anything. Do it for these guys. So this man, he comes out here and he misses one and we end up second. Any. They miss another, we crash. I was like, dude, you're coming. All right, like I said, it's all equal rights out here in the woods. No, thank you, sir. The Nitro Circus, Northern Nightmare 3.0.